Okay, so we've got a 2013 RX350. It's got 156,000 miles with, on it, and we are going to be replacing that trunk motor actuator. Uh, the issues are we try to unlock it, and we unlock the trunk, and you hear that long beep. Let's try to open it in here as well. Try to push the button. Doesn't unlock. Manually opens just fine. Try to push this button. Doesn't work with the long beep. It has brand new struts, just replaced them last week from Amazon. Um, and then also, We've tried the, the pinch sensors. There's nothing wrong with them. You can see these, they look fine. And then also on this side as well. Yeah, none of them are damaged, it appears. So th it does work intermittently. It does work sometimes. It's usually after I've been driving around for a while, but the battery seems to be okay. Try to open it again, so you can hear it unlock, and then it locks again. So it tries to open, but it doesn't open. Um, so the other things that we've tried are, oh yeah, the trunk button. Let's go ahead, I can show you guys it. This is active, so it's pushed in, out, in, Um, and we've tried resetting it several times, um, it hasn't really worked that much. And let me show you, this is the OEM motor that we just got, um, the ASIN with the Denso motor right there, and hopefully it fixes the issue, so we'll dive right into it. Okay, so this, we're going to start out with taking off this panel. Um, I just got these tools off of Amazon, just ple cheap plastic tools, probably about $7. like one of the clips fell off. But yeah, you can just see all the clips on there. Okay, we'll set that to the side. And... All right, so we've got two 10 millimeter bolts right here on the hinge. I'm go ahead and take those off. Okay, so the next step is to try to take off this headliner. We're gonna see, um, and I'm assuming that we just have to take it off with a few clips and then the motor's right there. So let me go ahead and see. Try not to get grease on the headliner. There's a third one. Okay. Our goal is to try not to Obviously get grease on the headliner, but all, um, also not to break it. Okay, so we've got this foam piece, and you can see right there, it's got Velcro on that foam. Okay, so we've got this foam piece. We kind of had to wrestle with it, you can see there. We got the Mars. Um, from the, the bolts, but um, this was just sitting in there and it's got two velcro Places where it attaches to the motor um, Like I said, I kind of had to it was in there and I had to just like kind of wiggle it You had to take it off that and then pull it this way um, But I was able to get it out. So we'll have that piece um, So we also noticed there are so the bolts in there. There's they're kind of hard to reach uh, one of them is actually behind one of the curtain airbags back there. 
which will be difficult to, to reach here. Um, these are the bolts that are on the, the motor. There's, so there's, there's this one that I'm about to remove, and then this one. And then there, there's actually two right here. It says right there, there's two. Um, and then also that one back there. Those actually go onto the, the body of the car. All right, so we've got um, this bolt, that bolt, these two front ones, and the back rear one. And you just have to be careful. I did cut myself um, on this bolt right here. Just be careful when you're getting that back one. Um, I also unhooked it right here, if you can see that. And then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can take this out. So you have to lift up. And uh, we might not be able to because the clearance might not be enough. So we might have to use these brackets or at least take it off the other way. Which sucks. Okay, so we figured something out. Um, we actually will have to take off those brackets back here. Uh, let me show you really quick. Okay, so there is a piece. There's the motor right here. Let me show you guys. So. There's this piece right here, and that we, is making us push the motor um, backwards in the car, and so this is up in there. And so we have to take off the brackets in here that are actually on the frame and not on the motor. So for us not to destroy the headliner, we're going to have to take off this plastic piece to be able to reach those bolts, because one of them is actually... Um, right next to the side airbag and so we just want to not damage it or really cut our hands more but we need to be careful because we have you see right here it has kind of split the headliner just a little bit but it's almost kind of necessary to do that so we're gonna go ahead and take off this plastic piece you can keep it for me all right so we've already taken off some clips um, with our tools and you kind of just have to pull and there's this clip, that clip, there's this one right here, this one right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and just keep taking it off. And to take off this, I, I believe we have to take off this one as well. Um, so there's a bolt right here and to get to that you just have to twist off your little thing and it'll pop right out. Um, then there's also one right here, it's deep in there another bolt so don't forget about that um, and we'll let you know if we find any other bolts so I'll go ahead and rip into this and pop some out and you can see well you can see in there that there this plastic piece is actually attached to the white one right there so we will have to definitely take off this so we'll take off this this and then we'll be able to reach those bolts so we'll go ahead and do this okay so we had to we just had to loosen this panel but it was enough to be able to take off this and you can see this is the bottom of this white panel here um, but yeah it was pretty pretty secure to this black part but we were able to get it off and then um, up here there's the the back bolt on the motor um, we had to move if you can see this airbag right there um, this is where the bolt was but we had to get the wrench up there and really just crank it but we were able to get the bracket off of the motor so now all we have to do is get these two bolts which that'll be super easy So this is the piece that was holding on there. And apparently this motor is supposedly shot. So we'll go ahead and put in the new one now. This is the old motor and you can see this clip. Um, so we go, went ahead and put in the new one. Um, all we did was, so there's that little metal clip right there. All we did was put it in and then pull it forward 
and that at least secures it. So then you can put in these two bolts. We just finger tighten these, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in a bolt back there, a bolt right here, and a bolt right there. I'll go ahead and start doing that real quick. Okay, so you can see the motor is kind of pulled out a little bit. It won't really like align with this very well, so you just have to push just a little bit, and then these align, and then we're able to put in the screws. All right, so a moment of truth. We've got the new motor in here. Um, we're gonna go, put, go ahead and put everything back in just a minute, but let's go ahead and see if it works. So, pushing this. All right. Seems like it was a bad motor. Let's see if it opens. So locked. Now we'll push it again. Okay. Woo! All right. Um, we're just gonna put it all back together now. Cheap shot and I'm sorry All the money in the world doesn't buy your faith Don't worry yeah. If you're trying to lose me It ain't easy But you're doing a good job Keeping your back up Tearing my heart on I'm picking it all up but I keep trying I don't want to believe it Keep on driving Trying not to see that First, we're gonna try this. Sweet, that works. And that is how you change the motor on your car. So if you get a long beep when you're trying to close your motor that, or your trunk, then that's what the issue is. You just need to change out that motor.